Hi everyone, welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you feeling today? You feeling good? Did you do anything fun today? Did you get to go to the playground? Or maybe cycle around the block? Did you read any books? Well, at least now you are. Today we have Mr. Patches is Bored by Nick Schoenfeld. Are you bored? Let's find out if you're as bored as Mr. Patches. Mr. Patches is bored for bored cats everywhere. Before we begin, here's the thing you should know. All cats are amazing as far as cats go. They're soft and they're cuddly. They're nimble and quick with hair long or short and with tails that they flick. But here's a fact that you might not have known. Cats can get bored when they're left all alone. Like this cat right here. He's as bored as he looks. He's got nothing to watch and he's read all his books. Now, can you guess his name? Do you know what it is? It is Patches the Cat. And this story is his. <sighs> Mr. Patches, you see, is not run of the mill. He catches his mice with incredible skill. His fur is exquisite. His whiskers, they gleam. His meows are like music. His purring, supreme. But even this cat with his talents galore begins each new day thinking life is a chore. Every morning I wake, I sit, then I eat, then I take a long nap, then I lick, clean my feet. My pillow's too soft. Ugh, this cat and mouse game. I'm bored of it all. It's too much of the same. My days are so long and it makes me so sad. Where are the adventures that I've never had? Enough is enough. This is getting me down. Let's look for excitement in my little town. For the whole of this week, I'll give boredom the slip. I will play, have a blast, meet new friends, let it rip. Out the door, he then walked with his cart on his heels. A week of adventures? Let's see how that feels. On Monday, he played with the Archibald foxes. Now I am the king of this castle of boxes. On Tuesday, he went riding out on the range with a big pair of boots on a moose for a change. On Wednesday, he climbed to the top of a tree and he needed three firemen to help set him free. On Thursday, he rented a shiny new bike and flew through the air with the big dog named Spike. On Friday, he studied a map he had found and spent the whole day digging deep underground. On Saturday, he prepped for the big county fair where he won the first prize for a cat with best hair. Then Sunday saw him get his ultimate wish to go to the zoo and to look at the fish.
his week of excitement had come to an end, Mr. Patches had made adventure his friend. He skipped and he hopped, and then home he returned, his little red cart filled with things he had earned. Look at all my adventures. They sure weigh a ton. What a great time I've had. It has been so much fun. But now that I'm home, won't I be bored again? If I just sit and eat and do nothing, what then? Yet, here is a fact that cannot be ignored. I would not have gone out if I had not been bored. Being bored got me friends, brought me joy, set me free. Bored is not bad. It is good. Now I see. If I had not been bored, there'd be no need to roam. And it wouldn't feel good to then finally come home. So I'm glad I was bored. Per yawn meow. But I'm done with adventures, at least for now. I hope you enjoyed Mr. Patches is Bored. Have you ever been bored? Being bored is actually a good thing because then you get creative, right? If you like a copy of this really fun book, the links are in the description below. Thanks so much for joining us today. Do subscribe if you haven't. Give us a like and leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.